Let's return now to the situation in Libya where opposition forces say they're making their final push for the capital. We can speak to Tahir. He's a Tripoli resident and joins us now on the line. I understand that you're near as Azir, Gaddafi's compound. Can you tell us uh, what you're seeing, what you're hearing there? Yeah, well, our name is the street. I, I'm in the Shara stream, you know, the street, the stream street. And there's like a heavy machinery and mortars, you know, I mean, they've just been hitting us hard. And they just came like half an hour ago. This heavy... So they just came, they started half an hour ago. Started half an hour one, ago, one the fighting hour started ahead. again one and a half hours ago. Okay, and can you tell uh, whether this fighting, the, the, these, these, this heavy machinery sound is coming from the rebel fighters or from Gaddafi troops or indeed from NATO? Yeah, Gaddafi troops, I mean, you know, but you know, they're sitting, they're staying in the Nigeria embassy here. You know, and then also there's the high school, there's the, there's the Sarah Nasser uh, high school, girls high school, and there's also uh, there's the, the, an, eye, an eye clinic, you know, eyes clinic here, you know, it's called the Noor Eyes Clinic, and they are on the top. They have like, a, uh, they have, you know, what do you call them, uh, those machines are really accurate, you know, Snipers, you know, they have snipers and they have RBGs and, you know, mortar, you know, some, some have some 14 and a half, you know, 12 and a half. Um, Tay, I understand that, uh, of course, you're, you're, you're probably staying inside at the moment. It sounds like a, a, a terrifying situation in the capital. But I'm just wondering what contact you have with other people in Tripoli, whether you know how widespread yeah, we, we this fighting is. Yeah, we have spread. We have like maybe more than 100 persons, you know, here and there. Every corner we have like four or five. We have flashing coke. We have small, you know, we don't have any heavy machine. We don't have, and our, our also ammunition is getting, you know, less and less. We don't have enough ammunition. We don't have any help from NATO or, you know, they can come with the Apache. They can at least get these two buildings. Uh, what is the, the mood in Tripoli at the moment? What's that? What is the mood in Tripoli at the moment? Are people staying indoors well, yeah, or are people I mean, out on the streets? People staying in houses, you know, it's, it's, it's a fight. I mean, it's a, it's a war. We are in a war. We are in a war zone right now, and we are trying to get some help, you know, because we don't have any other communication. We don't have communication. We don't have radios. We don't have anything. We just, we are regular people, you know. We got some guns here and there, and we're trying to protect our area. Uh, the rebels said when they entered the capital that a number of fighters already in Tripoli rose up and joined them. How much support is there for the rebels in the capital? I mean, we're not that far. We are like one kilometer from the, from the, from the Green Square. I mean, you know, the Martyr Square, you know, he calls it the Green Square. You know, we are like one kilometer, you know. And we are in the area, we are in the Shah Asrim Bridge, you know. I mean, the Nigeria embassy, I mean, they will know, if they have Googles, they will know where we're at. I mean, they can point exactly where these two buildings I gave you, you know, and they can come and help us. Okay, Tahir in uh, the capital, Tripoli, giving us an idea of events there at the moment, saying that uh, the fighting started again one and a half hours ago after heavy explosions heard overnight, a slight lull in the past few hours, but heavy uh, machine gun fire heard uh, from near Gaddafi's compound just about one and a half hour ago. We'll uh, keep you posted on events there in Libya's capital.